Church. And the United Kingdom, people all around the world are saying their final demise to Queen Elizabeth II. Yes, so at such a historical moment for the UK, it of course makes sense to bring in a history expert. Dr. Christine Keneally is a professor of history at Quinnipiac University, so graciously spending this time with us this morning. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. How are you this morning? I'm good, and you're very welcome. Thank you so much again. So uh, this was a 70-year reign by Queen Elizabeth II in which uh, the country and the world saw so much change the kingdom did. And now uh, I imagine the, the death itself and the transition to King Charles III is also a big moment of inflection and change uh, for the monarchy itself. Uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I think what you say, a big moment, it's really almost hard to take in. So the country, the world has had 10 days to try and get used to the idea that Queen Elizabeth has gone. But now, you know, particularly after today, today marks closure in so many ways. And now we have to see, what does this mean to have a king, to have a king who is governing over a commonwealth, which some people think is outdated, and over a united kingdom, which is pretty shaky because not everybody wants to be part of the united kingdom. So today, I think we reflect on what an incredible job Queen Elizabeth has done, but really, you know, very big shoes for anybody to fill, and can King Charles III actually fill them? Now, we are seeing world leaders from all over coming together for today, and we've seen tens of thousands mm -hmm. of people waiting in line for hours and hours to pay their final respects to their queen. This truly is a testament to her public service. Yeah, and that was the word she liked. She was a public servant. She wanted to give service. And from ascending to the throne, age 25, and now departing this world, age 96, she really has given service. And given service in a time of turmoil, of change, and even I was reflecting on the last two years through COVID, she really stepped into a leadership role in a way that very few people could have done. And so, again, she's such big shoes to fill. And I think it's now, you know, after the few Funeral. After all these ceremonies are over, the people will start to think, "You, what? It, what does the world hold without Queen Elizabeth?" Uh, Doctor, you had mentioned that this is a time of, I guess, for lack of a better word, as existential questions for the countries within the United Kingdom itself. I imagine this is also a time of existential questions for the monarchy itself, because it seems to mean different things to different people over there. Some people were moved to tears by the death. Other people are calling to abolish the monarchy altogether. Where do you think this goes from there, just in terms of the royal family? Yeah, again, I think you know, once the funeral is over and people have time, these are the big questions that really faces people in the United Kingdom and in the wider Commonwealth. Because to have a hereditary monarchy in 2022 is really an outdated concept. And the whole, you know, again, people will start to question the cost of what's happened. It's been a beautiful ceremony, but we know people are suffering at the moment very badly. Um, the amount of money that Charles is inheriting, which seems um, pretty obscene again when people are suffering in a very real way and then the whole idea of a united kingdom how united is it because in northern ireland there is a party in power who very much want a united ireland mm. in scotland the nationalists are very strong and even wales which has always been quite acquiescent is starting to rethink its role within the united kingdom so again these are questions that will face charles and i Actually, it will be a testament to Charles's character. Can he bring people together? And he is not his mother. I think that's very clear. Well, Dr. Keneally, thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate you joining us this morning. You're very welcome.